Hi and welcome to my video about selection sort. So selection sort is actually a sorting algorithm where you look for the minimum value and you put that in the place where the minimum value has to be. This will all get clear if I explain it with new characters, with gaming characters and I'm going to sort them on age. With the oldest one going to the left and the youngest one going to the right. Let's get to sorting. So the first thing you see me do is put the first value in the in a place of the minimum value. Then I'm going to compare every value of the next ones with the minimum value. And if there is a smaller value, I'm going to put that in the place of the minimum value. You see me compare it with the first one, Zelda, and it's actually smaller than the Minecraft Steve. But then I compare it with Sonic and it's not smaller. And then I compare it with Mario and it is actually smaller. So I swap Mario and Steve. And then I'm going to do it for the next one. I compare it with Sonic, I compare it with Steve and it's actually not. It's the smallest one, so I put it back. Then I'm comparing Sonic with Steve and Sonic is um, smaller than Steve. So now these are sorted. I compare the last one because for surety. And now these are sorted. And now you see Mario, Zelda, Sonic and Steve. Because Mario is the oldest and Steve is the youngest. And that's actually how selection sort works. Let's get into coding now. So hey, we are going to um, program selection sort now. Because before we explain selection sort and now I want to actually program selection sort. So I prepared some things. I prepared the print statement so you can uh, see that if we have our array and we run it we have our sorted array and our unsorted array. Yes. And we see that now it's still the same because we are not sorting it. So we are going to put our statement, our selection sort in between this. First we have to run through every, every element in the list. So we are going to do that with a for loop for E in range. And we do that for the length, length of our list. And then we are going to assign a new variable. Our minimum value. And that's actually, it's the same as y. Oh. I saw it. We were still in that loop. Okay. We don't need to be in this loop. We need to be in this loop. This is a second loop. So we could use for y. Okay. Then we are again going through every every character in our list, every number in our list. So again, we are going to this time with another uh, this time we are going to use g not y, not uh, y. So range. And here we are going to do something else than just length a. You would understand that length a is what you want to do. But you don't want to do that. You don't want just to go from 0 to length A, because this is actually from 0 to length A. It's the same. But here we don't want to go from 0 to length A. We, we are going to go from Y plus 1 to length A. Because then we go to the next uh, values instead of the previous values because obviously the previous values are already sorted we don't want to swap them 
So then we are going to look at if the minimum value we are going to watch if that's actually bigger than our value now because we are going to check if that's bigger because if that's bigger then we have a new minimum value so if that's bigger we change our minimum value is the same as g yes and then at the end of our for loop so we are after this for loop put an enter between we are going to do our a and we are going to swap it like we did in the video before It's the same as this, but then swap it. So this should be min value, and this should be y. No, just the y. And that's actually it. That's a really, it's a pretty easy sorting algorithm. And now, if we run it, we see our array is sorted that's it thank you for watching hi i hope you liked this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe uh, maybe leave questions in the comments below because i will ans definitely answer them and I see you in two weeks because i'm now uploading every two weeks see you then and bye